Linda Hiyoki, who is an Islamophobia researcher. She joins me from Istanbul. Good to have you on the program. We just saw the uh, Turkish president there uh, calling for a boycott of French goods. Um, let me take you back to uh, President Macron's statements. What was your initial reaction to them? Yes. So um, obviously this kind of a statement by President Macron is uh, a very strong one and it is, a, it is a sign of what we call, so to say, disciplining of, of Muslims in Europe. So it is quite, quite, uh, quite worrying to look at these kind of developments where state powers are telling their citizens how they should be feeling about their religion, how they should be feeling about their sensitivities. And I'm very worried about this because I find that it is just fueling more hate and it is fueling just more um, um, tense relations between different communities and population groups where um, in instead they could be actually having dialogues and talking to each other um, about these kind of issues. And Linda, you say you're worried um, that it's fueling more hate. Now, you have lived uh, in Europe. What's your experience been regarding people's attitudes, recent attitudes towards Islam? Have you seen a change? Well, I mean, obviously, um, on the grassroots levels, there are always these kind of uh, outrages that uh, come after incidents such as last week, what happened in France. However, I would say that uh, in an increasing matter, uh, the um, state responses, the laws uh, against Muslim populations in terms of uh, banning hijabs, banning face veils, or trying to control the civil society organizations, these, these have been increasing. Okay, and uh, you are, Linda, a community activist. Um, talk to us about the challenges that you face in your work. So this whole idea of how it is impossible to be a Muslim nowadays in the West or in Europe, um, I wouldn't completely um, subscribe to that. But I would, I would say that definitely it is um, difficult to find the right kind of spaces, the right kind of platforms to voice our concerns. Because what is going on oftentimes is that um, there is a sort of epistemological violence, epistemological racism um, um, towards Muslims, which means that whatever we are uh, trying to uh, voice in terms of our sensitivities, our ideas, um, they are being um, discredited easily. So this is one of the uh, challenges that I myself have, for example, faced. But I think we can overcome these challenges if we work hard enough. Linda, thank you so much for speaking to us on this very uh, important subject. Linda Hiyoki, Islamophobia researcher, joining us uh, from Istanbul.